I am Anil Kumar and this video is for my student who wants to understand how to read and describe a distance time graph. So what I am going to do here is create a very simple example which can help us to understand the concept, right? So let's say we have along the x-axis we have time. So this is my x-axis. Let me, let me write time t and let the units be minutes right and along the y-axis I'll take distance in meters and let's consider distance time graph uh, of a person who is walking away from home right so let's say Peter is walking away from home and uh, let's say that is distance is increasing as Peter is walking and let's say the distance covered by Peter in uh, first two minutes is uh, let's say uh, three meters so we're just saying this is three meters now Peter starts walking faster faster means that in the next second distance covered is kind of uh, five let's say right so let's say the next second is when time we're talking minutes, less minute, uh, in three minutes, let's say the distance covered is, uh, is uh, let's say it is five here. Okay, so it is two meters, correct? So that is how we can describe it. And then he stops. He stops, let's say stops for one minute. Okay, so the same distance, this, when the person stops, distance will not change okay distance will not change and then let us say that uh, that the person decides to return and uh, let's say the person returns uh, at, at a very high speed you can say it runs back the whole distance covers the whole distance in the next minute let's finish it off okay so this is a small story which we just created as you can see the time graph can give you an idea of uh, distance time graph how the distance is changing with respect to time so what do you really read from the time graph is a change in distance change in I should say position right change in position with respect to to time right so change in position is actually a distance in this graph so that is one so if my question is how far is the person after let's say three minutes three minutes let this be the first question so that we understand now how to read the data so what you do here is now you three minutes is along the time so you go along the time three minutes and then see how far so go up and see where it crosses and you can read it is five meters is it okay so after three minutes the answer will be five meters units are very important is that okay so that is one type of question which you could answer the second i could ask you as uh, after how much time is Sometimes we say object if we have not really mentioned anything is the object let's say four meters away. So that could be another question. Now to answer this question what you need to do is go along the distance the y-axis four meters away draw a line. Well you find there are two times 
right? So you have to mention both. This is very important. So you mention both and the answer will be what? First, when it is three minutes, so three minutes. And then read from the graph. So this is somewhere between four and five. So you can say four point whatever, let's say uh, it's slightly less than five, say so 4.3 minutes. Is it okay? So you can convert three minutes to seconds if you want to. Uh, you may write four minutes. And, uh, you know, you could convert 0.3 into 60, which is 18 seconds. Is that okay? You may write like this. But you read this, you have to read from graph. Now, my drawing, as you know, is very casual, but it gives you a fairly good idea about what we are talking, correct? Now, this is practical. Okay. Now, another type of question which you can answer from such graphs is about speed. And this is very important, speed. As you know, speed is a rate of change of position. So, when you are calculating, uh, speed is always positive. Remember that always positive very important and when you calculate from this distance time graph you can always see speed is change in distance over change in time so that is what speed is now what you should do in this particular case is find the speed at different positions right say in the interval let's say this is zero for us right so we'll call this as our first leg. This is the second leg. This is the third. And this one is the fourth, right? So in these four legs, you know, the speed is different. Why the speed is different? Because the slope is different. So speed is related with slope. Change in distance, which is rise. Change in time, which is run. So rise over run gives you slope and that is what speed is, correct? So let's find speed in interval 1, that is this portion. Now change in distance is 3, do you see 3 minus 0? You can say 3 minus 0 divided by time is 2 minus 0, 2 minus 0. So it is 3 over 2, we could write 1.5, 1.5 units are meters per minute meters per minute do you see that so that is how you can find speed similarly let's find speed in the second interval which is from 2 to 5 I mean 2 to the time is 3 the change in distance is 5 minus 3 do you see this triangle now this small triangle okay so it is 5 minus 3 divided by Time distance is, we're talking about this triangle, to be very precise. This triangle, is it okay? This triangle we're talking about. Leg 2. Okay. So it is 5 minus 3 divided by 3 minus 2, which is 2. And the units are meters per minute. Units are very important. Therefore, I'm mentioning it so many times. Okay. Similarly, speed 3. Now, this is horizontal. Horizontal means rest. You will understand how. Now, change in distance is 0. 5 minus 5, right? Which is 0. Divide by time, which is 4 minus 3, right? So, it is 0. Since 5 minus 5 is 0. So, 0 meters per minute. So, what you notice here is that horizontal line means rest, right? Speed zero. Is it okay? Now the last part is what you need to figure out. So let's do S4. What is the speed along this path? Now let's change the ink. Let's make it red. Now you will see that the change in height is distance changes from five to zero. We always write speed as positive, correct? absolute value so change you will write from 
uh, final is 0. So 0 minus 5 divided by times 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4. Now speed is always positive. So I'll, not, I'll write minus 5 over 1. But speed is positive. So we write this absolute value. Do you understand absolute values? Always positive. So always positive positive do you get the idea so it is 5 meters per minute so this is important to understand which I placed in red that the change in distance is negative but the speed is always positive if somehow the question was velocity then we'll write negative right so for speed always positive and that is the highest speed in the graph shown but I hope with this example you have understood part one how to sketch a graph for a given situation so we talked about a person starting from a position going away and increasing the speed at rest turning point this is also a turning point and then returning do you get an idea and then we could read from the graph at different time what is the position or how far the person is or how far the object is from the starting point we could also find how much distance has been covered in what time reverse right and we can also find the speed perfect now the question for you can you find total distance travel total distance travel so pause the video and find this. So that's the last question on this particular situation. Well, the total distance traveled is the person went 5 units away and returned 5. Correct? So total is 10 meters. I hope you got it, right? So count all the distances, add them up. So the object or the person moved 10 meters away and then came back 10 meters so the total distance is 10 meters now final question okay what is the average velocity okay no space left here anyway so now find average speed no velocity average speed average will be total distance which is 10 meters divided by total time which is 5 and so it is 2 meters per this is minutes right 2 meters per minute becomes your average speed so we have understood how to sketch a distance time graph how to read it and how to calculate values like speed distance average speed total distance and so on i hope you find it very interesting feel free to post questions and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best.